Yeah. We got a good soaking today in some areas, but mm -hmm. tomorrow we're finally going to get something we haven't seen in a long time, yeah. which is something called the sun. <laughs> yeah, it will be so nice. I know mm -hmm. it's just so hard to think about. We've been into this 15 plus day trend now mm -hmm. of these on and off storms, and we're not done yet. We still have several more rounds to come our way. So as we move you into that microclimate forecast tonight, I wanted to start off with something a little bit th different this evening with all of these storms. Why have we seen this historic rain trend? Uh, we have had so far eight different storm systems lining up over the past two weeks. Now, the number one thing that I've been seeing is the general storm track. It's been sitting right across Northern California. It hasn't budged. Normally we see this move off to the north, then dip back to the south, move back to the north, dip to the south. This has stayed so persistent here across the West Coast and all my years of forecasting. I have never seen it as consistent as what we've just went through. On top of that, atmospheric rivers boosting just about each and every one of these storms and giving us a lot of those higher totals. Now there is also some increasing evidence that with our changing climate, we could see more of these atmospheric rivers boosting up our storm system. So that's also going to be something uh, we are watching. But again, the two main things storm track right over Northern California and those atmospheric rivers giving us this historic rain. And as we talked about not done yet, we are now in for our ninth storm in our series of storms that started December the 27th as we head into Friday's forecast, a 10th storm on Saturday, and then the way I'm counting it here, an 11th storm as we roll into next Monday's forecast. So let's go ahead and take a look right now at what's happening. I think the worst of this has already moved through, so we're under some light to moderate rainfall here as we head through about the next two hours. Uh, so continue to expect some wet roadways here uh, into Vallejo through here through 556 tonight. But again, tonight, we start to calm down. 1130, some spotty showers up near Guerneville. Uh, everyone else drying out. And as we head through tomorrow morning, what a nice change for us. We're actually going to start off with a dry commute. And look at this on my afternoon forecast here, right there, two o'clock. We should start to get in on some sunshine here, trying to break through some of these high clouds. And that's going to make all the difference for us, right? A lot of us have some of those emergency repairs to do around the house. And we all just want to just catch our breath after all of those storms. Uh, you can see temperatures tomorrow warming up a little bit here with that break, upper 50s and low 60s. I'll put it at 62 here in Livermore, 62 in Oakland, 60 right there in San Francisco. Also going to be chilly to start. We're going to have those 40s and 50s as well. So next storm system begins to line up here by early Friday morning at 2 a.m. I see it beginning to move over. It's going to take a little time here, but eventually we get that wet weather by 11 o'clock in the morning over the North Bay down to San Francisco. We'll get into some widespread coverage through Friday afternoon. Then it should kick out of here for the most part by 8 p.m. on Friday with some lingering spotty thunderstorms uh, that could be left in the mix for us. So totals right now look the highest across the North Bay, anywhere from one to about uh, two and a half inches. Peninsula, East Bay and South Bay, South Bay were good for about three quarters uh, to one and a quarter inches. Santa Cruz Mountains, also in a bullseye here, where we could see anywhere from one to two inches on that storm system on Friday. The wind, that's been a big thing. I know a lot of you are probably like me. Every time we get those gusts, you think about all the trees that might be in your yard and, okay, is this one going to go over? Is that one going to go over? Do I have any limbs uh, that fell over today? So as we head through Friday, wind doesn't look as bad as we've seen it with some of the storms in the past, but we're still going to get in on some 20 to 40 mile per hour gusts here as we roll through Friday forecast and really with each of these storms as they move in. So on the seven day, here we go. Ninth storm coming in Friday, a quarter to about one and a quarter inches. Saturday, half to one and three quarters. Sunday, some spotty thunderstorms. By Monday, a quarter to a half inch. See where we're going here. Trend looks to be changing by next Tuesday and Wednesday. We could be actually settling into what may offer us the biggest break we've seen in the series of storm systems starting next Tuesday and Wednesday may continuing into the following Thursday and also Friday. So a lot behind us, a little bit more to go, and uh, I'm going to keep my eye on what could be a major pattern change next week with uh, some persistent drying. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll look for persistent drying. Oh. It's going to be my new favorite phrase, right? persistent drying. <laughs> All right, thank you, Joe. You got it.